What up, home slices, home fries, and homes of other varieties. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you're new, hey, I'm Emily the Fine Art Medium. I'm a psychic medium who specializes in the paranormal, and I have a degree in social deviance. So today, October 4th, marks one year since my one video blew up and brought so many amazing people here to my channel. And uh, upon realizing this, I had to make a video. And I really wanted to thank certain people, such as Omar, and some of the other creators that have, you know, like responded in the comment section, and just you guys too. But I'm gonna be honest, if that didn't happen with that Omar video, I don't think I would have blown up. I don't think I would be where I am right now. And I feel like in part, a lot of it has to do with his kind response and bringing so many of his loyal followers over here. For years, I've been busting my butt, putting out content um, religiously. I made sure to never miss a day except you know of course when I got COVID and it ruined everything but um I was having very little growth considering the amount of content I was putting out and it was very disheartening however despite the numbers I continued putting out content because I was content with knowing that my videos helped at least one person at first, I started sharing my haunting experiences at my parents' house and navigating my psychic abilities and stuff. And I wanted to have this channel for people that were going through something similar to show that, you know, they weren't alone. And I don't know, to learn with everybody else and provide information that I've learned from my experiences so people didn't have to experience the creepy and traumatic things that I went through. And now, I still live by that as long as one person is helped. That's all that really matters. I will never stop posting content. Unless I'm dead, of course. I mean, unless there is YouTube on the other side, which Let's be real. There isn't. Anyway, back to Omar. Anyway, back to Omar. If you guys could please like and share this video so he sees it. I know he's been going through a hard time between family matters, his personal life, his farm, and now due to the destruction of Helene, it's damaged some of his property. Um, and, you know continuously putting out content as frequently as he does. I mean, I'm sure it's stressful. Plus, everything else on top of that is stressful. But I kind of wanted to make this video too, to send positivity his way. I think so many people see so many of these popular creators, especially those with 500k plus subscribers and think they've got it made because all they are seeing is what's in front of the camera missing about 60 to 70 percent of their lives away from camera and so while i may not know omar personally based off of channel sessions and my education in sociology psychology human behavior I can see that he is a very complex person, but a good person at that with struggles like everyone else. I think because people see these creators, especially the very popular creators, as being that popular, they sometimes forget about the human behind the camera, which is no good. Some people have told me negative things about him, which of course is their opinion, but you have to remember, we are humans. We live in a dualistic realm. 
which means every single person has good and bad inside of them. Some people display more of the good than the bad and vice versa, but at the end of the day, we have both in us. But I can say confidently, whether you guys, some of you guys, not all of you will disagree, but for those who disagree, it's okay. Um, but in my opinion, I think he is one of the good ones. He cares about other people. He cares about his animals. He does what he can to help others in his own way. Back in July, I had made another video for him addressing his farm situation along with other things I've picked up about him that are more in depth than this video, so definitely check that out. It's in the cards and down below. But yeah, I really just wanted to thank Omar for his kindness and reiterate how grateful I am for him. And apparently, he reaches out to smaller creators on occasion, which I find very cool and just backs up the things I've been saying about him. He truly is loved by other creators, especially on this side of paranormal YouTube, and it's no wonder. He deserves that love and respect. And while I now have a good chunk of loyal supporters, I hope one day I can have, I don't know, even a quarter of what he has. That's a lot. <laughs> But I know when it's my time, I will get there. Down the line, I have so many projects that I want to create. Like for instance, I gotta get these freaking oracle cards published. They're almost done and I've been saying it for a long time, but it's true. It's just hard. I'm doing everything by myself, literally. Um, and like, there's some series, is series is is. <laughs> I can't English today that I really want to make like for example for those who know about the dead files and Amy Allen again thank you chastity for introducing me to that because I'm obsessed and I want to recreate their style of content even though theirs was more of a TV show but it's interesting because it kind of fits in line with how I get information clairvoyantly because I like to know nothing about a thing and like to go in blind and so it would be really cool if I could create my own unique style of something similar but of course for that to happen I need a team to help me and of course I'm open for collabs for anyone that is a paranormal investigator and you're looking for a psychic medium hi I'm available although just know I am in Philly so uh yeah but I want to do so many collabs like I have so many projects and ideas for the future it's like a never-ending cycle of creativity really and maybe I just gotta create some vision boards and manifest all this stuff for it to come true but enough of my side tangent I also want to thank um, Yasko, hope you're feeling better with your <laughs> situation and Paranormal Nightmare. Both of you guys have commented under a video that I've made regarding you guys and I'm thankful that you guys reached out um, and validated some of the things that I've said. Um, you guys are truly awesome and Again, I hope to one day be as successful as you guys. And of course, last but not least, I want to thank every single viewer and subscriber on this channel. You guys are the very reason I make content in the first place and will continue to do so. There are some people that would argue 6.9K isn't that much compared to some of the other YouTubers in the paranormal community, which might be true but I don't see it that way. When I think about views and subscribers, I always think of the college lecture classrooms that hold like 100 people and just compare like on a weekly average, my viewers, I would have to fill up like 10 of those classrooms <laughs> to fit everybody and to me, 
that's crazy because I always saw myself as pretty much a nobody that curses like a sailor. I'm working on it, okay? I'm working on it. But I never saw myself that important, really. I'm just a chick who likes paranormal, who sees some weird shit and shares it with the internet, really. And for subscribers, I have as much as a presidential rally. <laughs> I was looking up the numbers of average people that show up to rallies and on average I have more than a Biden rally. <laughs> that blows my mind because he's the president or technically was the president. And then like I have almost, I would say depending on average for one of Trump's rally I've kind of exceeded that too. And that's crazy because he was the president as well. And I'm just like, holy macaroni, that amount of people are willing to watch my content. Like, that blows my friggin' mind. So, yeah, I want to just extend my gratitude to everybody. You guys are truly amazeballs. Amazing. And never hesitate to reach out comment questions if you're not sure about something you need clarification whatever put down below always I'm not gonna get mad if you know something doesn't make sense to you point it out I love reading everyone's comments I react and respond to as many as I can sometimes on really busy occasions I can't respond to every single one but I do read every single comment I do I truly do and I heart as many as I can and sometimes YouTube takes it away from me and uh, I don't know why but YouTube like glitches and then when I submit responses or heart like heart like the res comments it doesn't go through and I don't know why but just know if you made a comment more than likely I've read it and all the comments that I've had thus far have been extremely positive extremely positive 99.9% .9 have been positive um, that's crazy so guys thank you so much for being so kind and again don't forget to like and share this video so Omar sees it because he needs some positivity right now okay I mean he's got quite a few million subscribers and I'm sure they show him love I'm in support but you know I also want to do my part and share my gratitude with him and you guys and some of the other awesome creators on this platform but yeah I'm going to end this video here I know I kind of doubled up on my video today and I have two out, but um, I feel like I really needed to put this video out. As long as he sees it, I really don't care. He don't even have to respond. I just want him to see it. Um, it's not about views, but I don't know. I just, I just want him to know that he is loved. He is respected and he's doing a good job and you can't make everybody happy and sorry dog hair and I hope he is doing well and continues on his endeavors and uh, yeah so yeah guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you again peace out <laughs>